We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. It's Nationals Baseball next on the show. Howie Jones gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. Goodbye, home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue. Stepping in, Josh Young. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Fielded cleanly, and it's a productive first out as that runner is able to. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Eddie James. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. So he will touch them all on the grand slam, his second home run of the game, and it's now five to three. Yeah, you've heard the saying, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Well, that was the case here. Bases loaded, facing the best power hitter in the lineup, and he showed why he is so feared. He knocked it out of here with a vengeance. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie James. And he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month Award. This is a close one so far, but really go back to that last at bat. That grand slam he hit really kept him in this game. Lifted the other way out to left center. Casto is there now, and he has it to gone. Eddie James will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. First offering on its way. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. Solo shot to right center. His third home run of the ball game, and it's now six to three. Well, you have a great night in hockey, you score three goals, and that's a hat trick, but how about hitting three home runs in one night? That's the baseball equivalent of a hat trick, and that's awfully hard to do. 
You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. Chicago led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Jeff Fisher wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Adrian Morejon hammers down the save his 29th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Six runs, six hits, no errors. They left two men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Washington Nationals. Stay tuned for Nationals baseball next. Tim Kate will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. The first Digging in the switch hitter, Eddie James. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. What a season this guy's having. Currently leads the league and runs batted in. So not only is he just hitting, but he's hitting with runners in scoring position. Move it, move it, move this, it, move it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Cubs are down in order. Now it'll be Washington's turn in a scoreless ball game. So striding forward now, Eddie James, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. There's one on to first, and they turn the double play. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tim Kate, who set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth the inning. Yeah first scooped up and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out ready once again Robbie Camarada as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here one of the things what I'd like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right handed pitching this guy has decent numbers now at the plate, Eddie James, 0 oh, for 2 on the afternoon so far. Eddie James. From the belt, the pitch swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that one is gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, so he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate, and it's now 5-3. to three. Well, Dero, you know they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBI. Eddie James will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. And you know, the heavy stuff has finally arrived. This has got to be the hardest rain we've seen all afternoon. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. Two-run shot to straightaway center, his second of the game, as it is now 7-3. 
second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Ready to take his hacks again. Eddie James as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Sanchez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number three <laughs> on the year. Nice job from him. 7-4 the final finish today. Chicago used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Jeff Fisher earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Adrian Morejon closes the door for the save, his 30th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasgers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.